U.S. tests its monstrously powerful laser carrier to beat hypersonic missiles. America's aircraft carriers, which have been its naval jewels for decades, are facing their strongest challenge ever. In the last decades, such monstrosity of ships had no counterparts. However, to see change of changing military landscapes across the world and in Asia in general is bringing about a sea of changes to the scenario. The United States Navy has devised an innovative laser defense system in response to these emergent threats. This technology is a total game-changer meant to protect these precious assets from modern missile threats, especially the growing danger posed by hypersonic missiles. But what exactly does this brand new protection system have to offer? That may be enough to offset China's rapidly advancing missile technologies, especially the hypersonic missiles, which may render these behemoth boats useless. For 50 years since the end of World War II, aircraft carriers have made important contributions in the actual conduct of battle, becoming something of a symbol of naval power. Particularly with the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor in 1941, it became abundantly evident that aircraft carriers were significantly important from a strategic standpoint. It was proven through battles like Midway and Coral Sea that air power would determine the outcome of conflicts and that carriers were at the heart of these naval battles. Throughout their service life, aircraft carriers have developed into phenomenal floating airbases capable of projecting power several magnitudes beyond the ordinary forces. They marked important segments in the military strategy of the United States because of their ability to launch aircraft, act as an asset for logistical support, and maintain a global presence at all times. However, because of their popularity, they also were an easy target in particular. The technology behind the weaponry, as it develops, has progressed questions of whether carriers still enjoy their predominant position within a world where it would be possible to sink a carrier with a strike of long-range precision missile systems. China particularly developed a variety of missile systems to be used in competition with the preeminence of aircraft carriers operated by the United States. Among them, the most horrifying ones are those of China's anti-ship ballistic missiles, the DF-21D and DF-26, often called carrier killers. These missiles have a range of 800 to 2,000 nautical miles and are designed for large boats like aircraft carriers. Since it is filled with maneuverable warheads that have modern tracking systems, it can hit flying targets at sea with pinpoint accuracy. Reportedly, China has been conducting a thorough test of those missiles, for example, by constructing full-sized mock models of United States carriers in the Taklamakan Desert. This might be for training purposes and to further perfect their accuracy. The goal of these carrier killers is to overcome the conventional advantages a carrier enjoys and push the question of whether the United States fleet is ever really prepared for this kind of threat. The advent of hypersonic missiles introduces into the strategic environment a new and potentially lethal factor that is not simple enough. Since hypersonic missiles are those missiles that can travel at more than Mach 5, it becomes somehow possible for them to outsmart the missile defense systems put in place because they combine extreme speed with mobility. The trajectory of hypersonic missiles does not behave in the same manner as that of ballistic missiles, whose path is predictable. A missile can change the trajectory while in flight, making it very hard to intercept. Several of these have the potential to threaten China's military greatly in terms of huge naval vessels and carriers. One such missile is its DFZF hypersonic glide vehicle, and just a few minutes are all that the carrier has to respond. What are the possibilities that these hypersonic weapons, whose speeds and unpredictability are next to impossible to track, could be used to effectively make aircraft carriers of the United States obsolete? Besides, the United States Navy has also made heavy investment in the development of laser defense systems to combat this new and evolving threat. It is armed with an advanced laser defense system that can destroy incoming threats, and the newest aircraft carrier ever constructed by the United States Navy is the Gerald R. Ford, which has been recently commissioned. Its system marked a major departure from the traditional ways of missile interceptions, because such an advancement in submarine defense technology poses serious challenges to most submarines around the world. This new laser system operates at the speed of light, so it has no lag time to respond to the threatening action. This is the reverse of conventional anti-missiles, which need to release interceptors. Meanwhile, precisely how do lasers provide a strong advantage over the current warfare? A couple of very significant advantages are provided by the laser weapons. They require no expensive and precious ammunition as they run off ship's power supply, so these are not needed for them. The laser guns of the carrier can fire without stopping as long as the carrier would go on to produce electricity. For a long dogfight, where the missile-specific anti-missile systems have long used up their missile ammunition, this is highly preferable, since the two Bechtel A1B nuclear reactors on board the U.S. Ford produce about 700 megawatts. More than enough energy is available to support laser fire under sustained conditions. Because of this, the carrier is endowed with virtually unlimited defense capability, especially against smaller and faster threats, such as drones or low-speed missiles. 
But the biggest question is whether lasers can actually turn off China's most advanced armaments, such as hypersonic missiles flying at five times the speed of sound. Apart from its laser platforms, the United States ship Gerald R. Ford is otherwise unlike previous carriers in its deployment of many other advanced technologies that it is fitted with. Its length stretches to 1,106 feet and displacement sums up to about 100,000 tons, making it the largest carrier built by humanity. Furthermore, the Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System EMAL is installed on the United States ship Ford. It is able to carry 90 aircraft, which also include the very highly modern F-35 Lightning I-planes. That this catapult system is being used instead of the old steam catapult can give for better aircraft launch systems while reducing wear and tear that aircraft have to undergo in the process. It can track several threats at the same time with a dual-band radar, thus promoting earlier detection by hostile missiles. The coupling of these developments with a forceful arsenal on the ship equates to a powerful position for the United States in exercising naval capabilities. But when considering the current boom in technology, especially in missiles, the question here is whether this alone will be able to protect United States carriers from the expanding capabilities of possible enemies such as China. Of course, it is no less impressive to observe the Chinese military making huge strides ahead, given the enormous stride the United States itself has made to enhance its capabilities for carrier defense. Today, China boasts of being the largest navy in the world, with more than 770 warships, thus overtaking the United States fleet almost doubled in size. This has been very much due to an explosion in the expansion of the People's Liberation Army Navy, which has mushroomed in the last few years. In addition to its growing carrier force, China has constructed a great diversity of offensive systems. These may include long-range bombers and hypersonic missiles, as well as Type 55 destroyers armed with anti-ship cruise missiles. In this manner, by engaging the A2-80 policy, it is China's plan to push American forces as far away from its own territory as possible, making the Pacific a much more contested region. With capabilities of this kind of sophistication, China poses the significant potential to be a challenge the United States Navy does not want to face in its effort to operate its carriers freely in the region. Laser defense systems are fast emerging as one of the most promising responses to the issues identified. They are developed in a high-energy laser program that seeks to have the directed energy weapon deployed in every vessel of the United States Navy. In fact, the United States Navy has pledged its commitment to laser technology as it becomes its first high-energy laser with Integrated Optical Dazzler and Surveillance or HEL-IOs installed on a destroyer of the Arleigh Burke class this year, 2022. The Navy is looking to grow these technologies as a way of countering larger threats, namely cruise missiles and later hypersonic missiles as well. The laser systems already developed can be of more utility and smaller, slower targets, such as drones and small boats, which the Navy is working on scaling up these technologies for. However, to what extent is the rate of laser technology advancement fast enough to keep up with the accelerating threats from missiles, specifically in China and Russia? While laser systems have great promise, many problems exist ahead. Because lasers are line-of-sight weapons, a clear line of sight to the target must be maintained. Weather. Weather conditions, such as rainfall, fog, or clouds, can degrade the effectiveness of a laser. To make matters worse, lasers are very strong in attack against small, slow-moving objects. However, how well these will work at high speeds in agile missiles, such as China's DF-21D or DF-ZF hypersonic glide vehicle, has yet to be determined. China remains in the process of refining its countermeasures to perfect such more sophisticated systems as electronic warfare systems designed to jam or disrupt U.S. defenses. This implies an ongoing arms race between the development of missiles and missile defense. The future of naval warfare becomes increasingly unpredictable as the United States of America continues to pursue its program of modernization for its respective military forces, which mirrors the patterns underway in China. Installation of laser defense systems on the aircraft carriers of the United States will further safeguard these crucial assets from dangers upscaling fast in terms of hypersonic missiles and other advanced weaponry. Still, it remains to be seen if this technology will be enough for the United States to hold a strong hand in maintaining naval superiority in a changed world. Perhaps it will take the next 10 years to determine whether aircraft carriers finally do prove to be the dominant force in the world's oceans, or if a new age of naval strategy has already begun. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.